Hey guys, Dark Derek here again, and uh, sorry again for the hiatus, but um, my old headset mic apparently ran away, I guess, either that or it exploded. I don't know, vanished into the ether. But um, I had to go out and buy a new one, and uh, the sound quality in this one is actually better, so hopefully that's pretty nice. Um, so, so But sorry again for the video, I had this battle freaking like two months ago or something. Um, I just did all the editing on it, and then, um, you know, of course I couldn't freaking uh, record my audio on it because uh, my headset mic exploded. So anyways, uh, I'm up against a guy named Weston. I got a new team in case you saw the team preview. I'm going to leave with my Choice Bayonet Haxorus, and he's going to leave with a Feral Thorn. I'm just going to go for the Brick Break, which rapes it stupid. Um, and then I take Double Recoil because of Iron Barbs and freaking stupid Rocky Helmet. But it's no big deal, really. Uh, he's going to go ahead and set up his rocks. And um, now I'm going to go ahead and switch out to my Registeel, predicting the um, predicting him to switch to uh, Spiritomb, which of course I saw through his team preview. And uh, this Registeel is toxic, so yeah, it's going to be pretty nice if he brings in his Spiritomb on the predicted Brick Break. And uh, he does indeed actually switch out his Ferrothorn to the Spiritomb, just as I thought. So there we go. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get some lefties, and um, I end up being quicker than the Spear Tomb, which is kind of weird, because um, I don't have any speed EVs, of course, but uh, that actually comes into play, because he's got the Taunt, and he ends up using it this turn. The Taunt! The Toxic! I don't even know. He ends up going for Taunt this turn, which kind of blows for him, because um, he must be running like a minus speed nature or something, which if you're running minus speed, why would you have Taunt? Because you kind of want to be faster than things to taunt them. So it's kind of weird. I don't know how I was quicker. Um, again, probably just the minus speed nature or something. Whatever. So anyway, I'm going to go to Heatran, predicting the Will Wisp, which I thought he would use to just, you know, get some damage on my uh, Registeel, you know, drain its health. Um, and then, of course, I can bring in Heatran, get the Flash Fire bonus. He ends up going for Sucker Punch, though, which is kind of weird, but uh, whatever. And um, in case you didn't see the Air Balloon, this is actually one of those bulkier Heatrans. So I'm gonna just going to go ahead and take this turn to set up rocks, because rocks are the best move in the game. So go ahead and set this up, and he's going to go for Pain Split. Um, I don't really know why he went for Pain Split. He was pretty high on health anyways. So, uh, you know, the Pain Split does a massive amount of 12 damage. I mean, when he used Pain Split, I, I thought I was going to die for a second there. But I don't know, maybe the game, like, litched and he only did 12 damage. I don't know. Ridiculous. So anyways, he's going to go for Sucker Punch this turn, predicting me to attack. And, uh, of course, he predicts correctly, and he pops my balloon, which sucks, because he trained just wanted to fly. So anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and destroy him with a Fire Blast. Uh, it does a shit ton of damage to the Spear Tomb, so I'm assuming it's more physically based. I don't really know. Rapes it, though. That's what matters. And uh, he barely hangs on, but because of lefties, he's going to live this Toxic just barely. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. Uh, all it really means, though, is I get to go for an Earth Power. I don't know what attack. He's probably going for Pain Split there. If he went for Pain Split after I used Fire Blast, that would have actually sucked. So why didn't he do that? That was weird. Hmm, misplay on my opponent's part, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the Earth explode underneath the Spiritomb and kill him. So now he brings up his Tentacruel, and I play pretty badly against this Tentacruel. Um, I, I end up I end up switching to Registeel, and I go for the Paralyze, but that lets him get some dual layers of Toxic Spikes, which comes back to bite me in the ass. So um, he gets up the Toxic Spikes, and the reason why I went up to uh, Registeel to Thunder Wave him is because if I was afraid that if I brought in Haxorus just to go for the Earthquake and kill him, he'd, he'd be faster, because Tentacruel has like base 100 speed or something, and Haxorus only has base 97. So, I was afraid that he'd be quicker and go for the Ice Beam, and because I'm already at, like, half health from the friggin' double recoil from his Ferrothorn, I was afraid it would kill me, and then I don't really have much to hit this Tentacruel with. I'd have to fodder out my Haxorus, and that would kind of suck. So I end up just going for the T-Wave here, um, and he gets up the dual layer of spikes, as I said, which blows, but what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch out, and now I'm gonna go, to go to Haxorus, because I'm pretty sure he's just gonna go for a water move, probably Scald, if that, and, uh, because I'm Toxic Poison from the, uh, spikes that uh, Nukagon lands on. It's no problem if he uses Skull, it wouldn't kill me, so no big deal. He gets Parahax, though. Um, I doubt he was going for Ice Beam, but if it, but if he was, it sucks, because, uh, again, it, I probably wouldn't have lived it. But um, now I'm just going to go for an EQ. The reason he stayed in is probably because nothing on his team would like to take a Choice Bandit Earthquake, so he leaves in his Tentacruel, and uh, Tentacruel um, blows up. So, yeah, dies on one hit easy. Because Haxorus has an obscene amount of attack. It's like over 600 off the bat or something. I don't even know. So anyways, he's gonna go to Scrafty, and I shit my pants when I saw the Scrafty, because I was like, oh man, I got nothing to hit this thing. If, if he starts dragging it, like, now I'm screwed. So I had to go to Sock, my revenge killer. My Sock that's wearing a scarf. So, I, I bring him in, and I'm like, okay, if he dragon dances, I'm fucked. But he ends up going for Drain Punch, so I'm like, oh man, he's gonna kill me with this, I'm screwed. But just fucking nothing, it does nothing. Like, I don't even know how. So, I'm thinking, okay, so this must be a ridiculously bulky, like, like one of the bulk up ones or something, like the rest ones. Ridiculous, so it's gonna live this close combat. No, it won't. Just dies in one hit. 
So, my only conclusion that I came to there is that his Scrafty is a pussy, basically, and sucks. So, I don't know. It was weird. Maybe he had no EVs on it. That was just fucked. So, anyways, he's going to bring out his Ferrothorn, who magically healed all his health. Huh, so I'm going to go for close combat, and, uh, yeah, surprise, it's a Zoraric. Uh, he probably brought that in because he thought um, I wasn't Scarfed, but of course I am. So, uh, close combat's going to rape that thing sideways, so Zoraric dies in one hit. Ugh. So anyways, I get a little bit more toxic damage, and um, now he's going to go out to another Hax... To another Haxorus. He's going to go out to his Haxorus, and I shit my pants again, because, again, if this thing starts dragon dancing, I'm screwed. So I'm like, all right, I just got to go for close combat. I got to get some damage on, because I have no safe switch if he just attacks. So I go for close combat, and uh, kills his Haxorus in one hit, too. So Sock is just beast mode in this guy's team. Like, it's just bending him over. I don't know why I get all these one-shot kills. It's ridiculous, but... Anyway, Sock dies from Toxic right here. Um, and now he's going to go to his last with his Ferrothorn, and I'm going to go to Haxorus, and that basically seals the game, because one brick break will kill it at this point. I, an outrage at this point will kill it. So yeah, good game, uh, Weston or whatever. Um, again, I apologize for the hiatus, but nothing really I could do there. I didn't really have any money, so I went out and had to get this uh, microphone after I saved up a little bit. So yeah, I hope you guys like the new uh, sound quality. Um, I have another battle, but I misrecorded it like a tool, so it's all like fucked. So I'm going to have to re-record that, and then speed that up, so that'll take like an hour or something, so kind of blows, but whatever. Um, be more medals to come. I actually have another team that I made, so I don't know if I'll be using that one or if I can go back to this one. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably just switch up between the two to whatever I feel like. So yeah, comments on the battle. Uh, your Scrafty sucks, dude. Um, but a uh, nice game. And uh, yeah, like and sub if you liked the video, and uh, Dark Derek out.